don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. It's a fine morning here. We're going to talk more football, and this time it's about Kumasi Asante Kotoko and their campaign in the CAF Confederations Cup. And um, this Sunday, Kotoko will face Al Helal in the first group game. They are in Group C, and they will face Al Helal in their first group game. Their squad has been announced, and also a new form a format has been announced by the government to be supporting clubs that representing Ghana in Africa financially. They've announced the package that will be supporting the clubs. So then Kotoko are the first beneficiaries of that package. Also, I'll be talking about Kotoko's pe um, preparations against uh, for the Sudan game and how they'll be traveling. They are traveling plans for that game as well. So as usual, I'm your host, Selassie Fiawi and welcome back to Sahara Football. So if you're also new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell as well. So let's go over the Kotoko squad. Now Kotoko, we all know, will travel to Sudan. They will travel on Thursday and they will get to Sudan. By Sunday, they'll play their game. So by Friday, they should be in Sudan. Saturday, they'll train and Sunday, they have their match. So Asante Kotoko have released their 18-man squad that will travel to Sudan from the CAF Confederations Cup game against Al Hilal. Now, Nabi Keita was one of the big names excluded from the squad. That's shocking. And below are the list of the players that. So, in goalkeeping, we have Alexander, Muntari Tego, and Wahab Adams, Amos Frimpong, Augustin Sefa, Abdul Ismail Ganyu, Ivan Sousu, Ajema Mbedu, Imanwa, Richard Senanu, Kwame Bonsu, Omar Bashir, Maxwell Bako. Emmanuel Jemfi, Prince Aqua, Steven Nyako, Obed Osu, Abdul Fatao, and Songe Yakuba. You can see them in your, on your screen right now. Are men for the Sudan job. This is the full squad list here. Songe Yakuba, Felix Anan is also the more expected that from them. Felix Anan has been immense for Asante Kotoko in recent times, and we hope. They do well in Sudan. It's not going to be easy. We all know every advice has come from all corners for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They will travel to Accra today, then they will travel on to Sudan. There is no straight flight, unfortunately, from Ghana here to Sudan. So they will have to do that uh, transit travel over there for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Now, Asante Kotoko, as I said, have a package from the government of Ghana. Now the government of Ghana is going to give clubs that in the CAF Champions League to give them $200,000 package that will help finance their travels across the group stages, for the group stages actually. And as Santa Cotoco, since they are taking part in the CAF Confederations Cup, they are entitled to a package of $150,000. I think this will go a long way to help Asante Cotoco in their quest for, um, for their European, for this to help Ghana gain ground in Africa. I think this is a great move from the government. It's great to see the government taking on this initiative. So the story says that Santa to get 150,000 Ghana cities from government. Now, Santa Kotoko received $150,000 from the government of Ghana for qualifying for the CAF Confederations Cup group stages. Remember, they got $275,000 for qualifying to the group stage that was from CAF and now another hundred and fifty thousand dollars i think this is great this would be a great motivation to the players to do well and to perform to their best of their ability so the sports ministry added that the government will be supporting Ghanaian clubs in europe in african competitions the statement stated that clubs that managed to qualify for the CAF champions league will receive the sum of two hundred thousand dollars while $150,000 will be given to the club that qualified for the CAF Confederations Cup group stages. Now, this is the letter here on your screen. As part of the efforts to support football clubs that qualify to play in continental competition, the Ministry of Youth and Sports on behalf of the government has decided to boost clubs that qualify for the group stage of the CAF Champions League and CAF Conf uh, Confederations Cup competition with an amount of 200,000 United States dollars and 150,000 United States dollars respectively. This gesture, government believes, will go along with financially cushion the football clubs in their bid to bring honor to the country while encouraging them to attain excellence in their continental competitions. That's signed by the Sports Minister Honorable Isaac Isiama. This is a great move, I think, 
from government and I think it's going a long way to really help the players, motivate them in fact to do well in this competition and I think this is great. Speaking of Asante Kotoko, Felix Annan has been nominated in the SWAG Awards. SWAG Awards is a Sports Writers Association of Ghana Awards ceremony. They are made, uh, intended to award the best players in the past year and the best players, the best coaches and the best women's players as well. So Felix Annan has been included in the Player of the Year alongside Thomas Partey and a few other players. So kudos to Felix Annan on that nomination. Now to Asante Kotoko still and they have been training under floodlights to help them prepare adequately for this Al Hilal clash. They will most likely be playing under floodlights. It could be an evening encounter. And Asante Kotoko will be training under floodlights in Kumasi in the coming days. The new strategy is to help Kotoko make a change, make a strong impact in the African Confederations Cup tournament this year. Kotoko has been pitched without Hilal in Kana FC and Zesco United in the top competition. The Kumasi based clubs will open their account with an epic encounter with Al Hilal on Sunday. They will play Al Hilal on Sunday, February 3rd. Reports from Sudan indicated that Al Hilal might face Kotoko in the evening, which will be under floodlights. The Kotoko technical team, led by CK Akono, doesn't want the team to suffer during the Sudan game. In that regard, he, Kotoko has planned to train under floodlights in Kumase before they play to Sudan. There were reports that Kotoko will play a friendly game with lower division clubs under floodlights at the Babayara Sports Stadium on Sunday. So that is it. Asante Kotoko will be training under floodlights. And it's great. I'm, I'm happy they are training under floodlights since it's possible they'll be playing. Since it's, it's very, very likely they'll be placing Al Hilal in the Cup Conversations Cup under floodlights. And they need to prepare adequately for that possibility. Now, to my next final story. It has to do with Kotoko defender Daniel Dakwa. Daniel Dakwa has made an injury return in time for the group stages of the CAF Confederations Cup. The Asante Kotoko have been boosted by the return of defender Daniel Dakwa from a long term injury layoff. The former Indiana Stars defender has been out since undergoing a surgery on his shoulder, which left out of the team's participation in the CAF Confederations Cup. The 26 year old returned to action. For the Porcupine Warriors friendly encounter Division 1 side Storm FC on Sunday. Dakwa is part of the registered players for the Cup of Reels Cup match with the team when they leave for Sudan against them in the first group game against Al Hilal in Sudan. His absence, in his absence, Abbas Mohammed has been has been coach CK Akono's preferred option. Kotoko and Group C against and they will face in Kana, Zesco, and Al Hilal, which they will face this Sunday. So that has been it for today, guys. I've been talking about Kumasi Asante Kotoko's chances in the CAF Confederations Cup. And Kotoko, as we all know, are looking to sign a few players and at Ash Gold. Ash Gold are saying they will give Kotoko only one player will release, and that is Mumuni. Yes, Mumuni is the only player. Chief Executive of Ashanti Gold Friday Champion has revealed that he is ready, his outfit is ready to release only Mumuni to Asante Kotoko. So Asante Kotoko will have to make do with really that signing for now. But they've added a few more to beef up the squad and it's really great to see them. I wish Kumasi Asante Kotoko the very, very best in the Confederations Cup. I hope they go very far. I hope they beat Al Helal of Sudan and make a great impact in the group stages. Remember, the top two will move on to the quarterfinal and it's very possible for Kotoko to make it to that stage. So it's going to be great. As usual, this channel will bring you all the updates you need to know, including highlights, analysis, and all the necessary information you need to know ahead of the clash with Al Hilal. So that has been it for today, guys. I've been looking at Kotoko's chances. What do you think Kotoko will get? How far do you think Kotoko will get in this CAF Confederation Cup? Can they get to the final? Can they win the trophy? How about semi final? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. That has been it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy your day.